Hey guys, welcome to week two assignment one. I am in Google Classroom as a student. I'm gonna show you what this assignment looks like, okay? First thing I wanna show you is that every Monday through Friday, all week, I'll be in Google Classroom from 105 to 205 to answer any questions you have about social studies or language arts, all right? And you just click on this link. Once you click on it, it'll pop up a Google Meet and you'll see my face and you can ask me questions about the assignment, okay? Assignment week two, assignment one is right here in the stream. The easiest way to get to your assignments is to click on the classwork tab. They're always under module four online learning. OK, and we're on week two, assignment one. You click on it and then you scroll down and hit view assignment. OK, once you're in, the first thing you do is watch the video called step one lessons instructions, which you should be doing right now. That's what this video is called. OK. Then you're gonna read what's going on in the teen brain article, and you're gonna write just statements in each section as you read, right? This link is up here. It is this first one right here. Notice that the work that I let you edit is already in this box called the Your Work box, okay? So when you open that up, it'll create you a document that you can read these boxes and give me your gist statement. Read this box, give me your gist statement. This article is called What's Going On in Your Brain. Okay, notice up here it's called step two. When you get done with that, you can click turn in or you can just close it. It saves it automatically, okay? Then you go to step three and you complete the graphic organizer that goes with it. Notice there is another graphic, there's another document here. You can click on that and a graphic organizer will pop up, okay? Notice it's called step three graphic organizer and it has your name here. This is my wife's name who is a student in my class. You complete the same thing. You give me a main idea of article that you just read. You give me the background of the article you just read. You give me three supporting ideas, three supporting details, and you give me a conclusion. For the main idea, I'm looking for one sentence. For the background and conclusion, I'm looking for two to three sentences. And for the supporting ideas, I'm looking, if not for direct quotes, paraphrases of specific facts that support your background and your main idea. Then again, you can click turn in, right? Or you can come back here and go on to step four. Step four says, once you have finished, completed the reading and you've done the graphic organizer, take step four quiz, okay? It's right here. Yours will be called step four quiz, okay? You open it up, you click on it, you put your first name, your last name, and then you begin answering the questions about the article. It's not for a grade, okay? Go through, get all the way to the end. Once you get in, you click submit. Some of you had issues with your Google Forms quitting before you got to the end. Maybe do this on a separate sheet of paper and then put all your answers in at one time. Once you complete the form, you are going to watch the video called Insight into the Teenage Brain. OK, you're going to click on this one right here inside of the Teenage Brain and bring up this YouTube video. Click play. It'll probably play for you automatically. Voila. Watch it. It's about 10 minutes, but it's a good little video. It's designed for uh, middle schoolers, so it should be right up your alley. Then you complete step six, the reflection. OK, once again, you put your first name, your last name, and then you put your answers in all of these and click submit. You may once again want to do this on a separate sheet of paper and then put all your information in at one time in case your browser quits. When you are done, you are on step seven. It says celebrate because you're done. Make sure you click turn in so I can see your article with your gist statements and your graphic organizer. Remember the goal of this is to get done by Wednesday, but it is just a suggestion, okay? Notice step one, step one, right? Step six, step six. They will match up for you as far as the numbering goes. So try to, if you're getting lost, try to track it down through the measuring or through the, uh, the naming conventions, okay? All right, that's all I've got for you today. I hope you have a great week. I'll be back Wednesday with another assignment and we'll go from there.